everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to bring you a super cute little gnome that's a little bit different. He's made out of a flower pot, got hair that's a plant, got a little sun visor, little tennis shoes. If you want to make this little guy, stick around. I'll show you how. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to start with a three inch wide by two and three quarter inch flower pot, and I'm just going to put a piece of painter's tape all the way across the bottom. Then I'm going to mark a hole on both sides before you get to the ridge. And that's where I'm going to stick my legs through. Now I'm going to start with a 3 16 inch drill bit and I'm going to go through first and then I'm going to graduate to a quarter inch drill bit to drill the hole a little bit larger. But just take your time on this part and you and you go all the way through the flower pot. And then go ahead with a quarter inch drill bit and drill the holes bigger. And then just test your quarter inch dowel stick to make sure it goes through both holes. Next, I'm using a little 5 8 inch hair noodle. I'm going to go ahead and take the wire out of it. And then I'm going to cut these at 3 inches in length each. And then just go ahead and cut them and then make sure that they're even. Okay, next, sharpen two 6 inch by quarter inch dowel sticks. And we're going to take a two inch by one inch styrofoam disc and we are going to glue it in the bottom. Now don't glue where your two holes are. Glue on each side of those and then just push it all the way down into the bottom. And this is what we're going to slide those sticks up into. So we're just going to adjust the height of our um, dowel sticks. We are going to cut them so that they can go just barely through. So we're going to cut them at four and three eighths of an inch in length and cut both of them exactly the same length. And then we are going to just go ahead and slip those right through the middle of our little pink noodles and just go all the way down until they get to the blunt end and the pointy part is sticking straight up. Okay, next I'm going to take these little tennis shoes I got on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and open them up and I'm going to put some weights in these. And I'm just using some like 3 8 inch little nuts to go in these. And I put three in each of mine, but I think two would probably be just plenty. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue them in. Next, to fill the shoes up a little bit, I'm just going to take some stuffing and stuff it on inside of here. Just to kind of give it a little bit more um, body. And then go ahead and put a little bit of glue in the bottom and in the back and go ahead and glue your stick and make sure it stands up straight. You want to make sure you got a 90 degree angle here. And then just go ahead and add as much stuffing as you can and then go ahead and tie your shoes and then do exactly the same thing with the opposite shoe. For the pant leg, we're going to take a piece of fabric that measures four and a quarter by six inches and we're going to glue down the six inch side on one side and then we're going to glue down the four and a quarter inch on the opposite side. Now you want your stripes to go up and down so go ahead and cut your pattern out accordingly. And then do exactly the same thing with the other leg. Okay, next we're going to take a piece of quilt batting that measures two and three quarter inches by one inches and we are going to beef up the top part of this leg. That way our pant leg will lay nicely over the shoe. So just go ahead and wrap that around there and then just glue that on. And then do the same thing with the other one. Okay, next with your hemmed edge down at the bottom of the shoe, go over the lap at the bottom of the shoe and go ahead and wrap this around. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap it around till we get to the end and then we're going to turn the whole thing so that our seam is in the back. Just turn it all the way around there to your seam is in the very back and then go ahead and just glue that straight down. Just make sure you do get it straight. And then go ahead and glue it into the back. And then do exactly the same thing with the other leg. Okay, 
Okay, next we're going to just cut some little slits in it all the way down till you get to the noodle. Probably about quarter inch slits or half inch slits, I think is what I've got going. But go all the way down to the top part of that noodle. Just make sure that you can bend it back and then we're going to trim this off. So when you cut your fabric, you really don't have to cut it as long as this. I just um, started this way and then I think you could probably just reduce it by about an inch. And then cut about a half an inch from the noodle all the way around. And then we're just going to glue this right to this and push it on down. Just kind of pull it all together and then just go ahead and push it all the way down till it's pretty flat. And then do the same thing with the opposite shoe. Just make sure that they are the same height or the same length. And then we're going to go ahead and slide them right up into our little um, flower pot. And just make sure your right shoe's on the right and the left's on the left. Okay, next we're just going to make a mark on both sides. And this is where we're going to put the arms. We're coming down about a quarter of an inch from the top ledge. And then we're going to go ahead and drill a hole where with our drill on both of these just to go through. Now take your legs out because you don't want them to get dirty. Go ahead and put a piece of painter's tape on there. Go ahead and mark your hole exactly where the same place. And then go ahead and put your painter's tape over that to keep it from um, cracking. And then I'm going to drill a 3 16 inch hole. You don't have to drill a large hole because we're not putting a dowel stick through it. It's so just a small hole enough to put a pipe cleaner through it. And to do the exact same thing with the opposite side. For a shirt, I'm taking a piece of fabric that measures 10 and a half by 4 inches, and I'm going to go ahead and hem up the 10 and a half inch side. And I'm going to do this on both sides. And that was about a quarter inch seam allowance on that side. And on this side, I'm hemming it up a half an inch. And then you're going to go ahead and hem both short sides as well. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and grab our flower pot and you just want to make sure that when they overlap, the, slat, the last seam is overlapped in the back and it's right in the very back. So go ahead and start gluing that on on one side and then just go all the way around till you get to the opposite side. And then we're going to glue straight down the back. Just get it as close to that ledge as you can. So we're going to cut the beard. We're going to cut it at two inches by one and a half inches and then just go from side to side in a U shape all the way around, cutting behind the faux fur only, and then clean any excess fur off. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach it to the body, and you're going to be, you're going to put it right into the center of that top edge. So right up in the center there. Next, we're going to take a piece of fabric that measures 11 inches by two and a half inches, and we are going to glue up the 11 inch side. And then we're we'll glue the opposite side as well over the top of this one. And you want to have a finished out edge to be about one inch. And then we are going to finish out one of the short sides.
your center point. Go ahead, attach it to the front. Now you're not going to glue where the nose is, goes yet. You're going to glue past the beard all the way to the back on both sides. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to put a nose in. So kind of make it a little bit loose right here. Don't stretch it so hard that it's uh, you can't get that nose underneath it. And then go ahead and finish it off in the back so that the finished edge overlaps the other edge. I'm just going to attach the nose. I'm just using a 15 milliliter half bead. I'm just going to stick it right up underneath that ledge. Next, just pick your favorite greenery and go ahead and fill up the top part of the um, flower pot. Make sure you get it pretty full so you don't see any of the white um, styrofoam. And I got these little plants at um, Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to take some craft foam and the pattern that I've given you in the description below and we are just going to cut out a little sun visor. Just a little visor for his hat. And you can download this pattern in the description below. It's real easy to cut out by hand. Okay, next go ahead and take an X-Acto knife and go ahead and poke a hole into the hole that you drilled earlier. And then we're going to make the arms. For the arms, I'm taking a piece of fabric that measures two and a half by three and a half inches. And then we're going to go ahead and hem up the short side and one of the long sides. And then a little bit, we're going to hem the top part up as well. Okay, then for the hand, we're just going to attach a little bead right down at the raw edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and hem up the top part as well. That way it's nice and flush against the body when we get ready to put it into the body. I'm going to take a six inch pipe cleaner, just one, and attach it right here on each side, right above the little bead, and then just roll that up until you get to the back. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it off in the back. And then do the same thing with the second one. I decided that another pipe cleaner need to be added just to give it a little bit more stability. And I'm going to just go ahead and twist the two together to make them strong. And then go ahead and twist it as tight as you can and then we're going to cut it off about two inches above the arm. And then we're going to go ahead and run it up into that hole in the where the flower pot is, pull it all the way through, and then pull it up as tight as you can. We're going to put some glue on this and then we're going to hold it in place until the glue dries. That way that the top part of the arm will be glued to the body and it'll be um, hidden. And then do the same thing with the opposite arm. Just push it on up in there and then go ahead and glue it and then pull it tight to hold it in place. And then we're going to glue the inside of the um, pipe cleaner to the inside of the flower pot and do that on both sides. So we're just going to add our visor. We're just going to come right through the middle of the top part of the hat and we're just going to glue that in. Just go ahead and put a little fine bead just along the edge of that. And then we're going to trim it out with some jute here in a minute. So if you get a little bit of over glue, don't worry about it because we are going to cover it up. But go ahead and kind of stretch that as you're putting it on there. And then make sure that's dry real good and then we'll put our jute on there. I'm just taking a fine um, piece of jute, go across there, cut it off, and then we're just going to glue that right on top. Just kind of trims it up nicely. Hey, that's how this one turned out. Something a little bit different. You'd be cute in the kitchen. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it.